American Idol, America's Got Talent, Sunday Best, The Ricky Lake Show, Whose Wedding Is It Anyway, Keisha Cole, The Way It Is, uh, The Frankie and Nessie Show, um, uh, The Wendy Williams Show just recently, um, uh, and there was one more, uh, Jerry Springer. <laughs> Don't ask Jerry me for it out. Jerry Springer? Are you my baby's daddy? Nah, Jerry, Jerry was the judge of uh, America's Got Talent. He was one of, the, I mean, not the judge, he was one of the hosts of America's Got Talent, the season that I was on the show. So he invited me to his show and everything like that. So that was pretty cool. So. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, I'm actually, uh, I'm on my way to an event um, now to promote oxygen. So I, I apologize. Okay. I'm trying to get to an area nope. where it's not noisy. Problem. So you've been on so many different television shows. What you know? What have you learned? Because I mean, first of all, a lot of people know your name. A lot of up and coming artists know your name because you, sh you show not only you know. Because one thing that's very uncommon is when artists that are up and coming show a lot of support, and you're known for showing up and coming artists support. Um, what What have you learned from being on all these different reality shows and, and things like that when it comes to your music? I've learned that uh, no doesn't mean never. And a lot of times mm. people say, oh, you go and you go and you audition and you go. But it's like a drive in me that's unexplainable. Mm -hmm. And, like, the biggest thing, like, no doesn't mean never. You might not have made it this time, but if you keep going, you're going to make it. Then you keep going and you keep going and you keep going. And with Oxygen, my biggest thing was I didn't really want to put anything out unless I was signed to a label. I was signed to Sony Records for two years mm -hmm. after I came off of America's Got Talent, and then I got dropped. <laughs> so, you know... It was like, you know, you got to keep going, you got to keep going. So I was like, I'm not, I don't really want to put any music out unless I'm signed to a label because from doing my history, I, I kind of know what it takes um, to get out there, to get out there nationally, how you want to get out there. Mm -hmm. So it just took me a minute um, to do what I had to do, and I got end up getting signed with Sophie Music Group, Warner Brothers, and I said, you know, let's do it. Oh, wow. That's, I mean, that's wonderful. Oxygen, you just mentioned your new single. First of all, explain to everyone what this song is about. Oxygen, if you ever been with anybody who's extremely special to you and you really can't see yourself being without them, that's one of these type of songs, um, you know? I'm shaking my head no, but... <laughs> <laughs> you ain't never been in love. I'm love, love. Must feel nice. <laughs> nah, it's okay. It's a, you know, it was like I, I wanted to um, do something that everybody could relate to, uh, well, most people could relate to as far as relationship-wise, mm -hmm. and... You know, it's deep when you tell somebody, you know what, baby, you my oxygen. Mm. I can't breathe without you. You know, you're like, that. that's deep. That you know, deep. so I got with uh, some guys in uh, Richmond, Virginia, mm -hmm. Beans, and Peripheral Audio, amazing group of individuals who um, I heard their music through my boy T. Soul, who's another amazing artist, um, work. They did his album, and um, it was like, they did his Christmas album, and I was like, wow. This is beyond amazing. I have to have, I have to work with them. Mm -hmm. So I flew out to Richmond, Virginia, um, met with them. We all went to Applebee's. <laughs> and I was like, listen, around this time next year, we're going to be at the Grammys. Mm. So this was a while back. This was back in February. Actually, when I left the Grammys um, with the artist that I work with now, Leandre Johnson, who just won a Grammy. Okay. So I was like, I told them, like, look, this time next year, we're going to be at the Grammys, and I'm going to have one. I know that's right. Put it into the universe. That's what I'm talking about. So, so with Oxygen, what can we expect next? So, you know, is there going to be a video, uh, uh, an album, an EP? What's coming up after Oxygen? Yeah, well, after Oxygen, I'm working on a video right now. Um, we're shooting at Father's Day weekend in Vegas. Oh. So I'm extremely excited about that. And I'm working with uh, a gentleman by the name of Gianni. A lot of some people may know him. He's right now on tour with the uh, Michael Jackson um, start the Soleil type tour yeah, yeah, right yeah. now. So he's on tour with uh, them. So they're shooting a video in um, Father's Day weekend in Vegas. So I'm extreme. I'm happy, happy about that. And um, then uh, we, I'm, I'm working on an album now. So we're trying to just push this single for the summer. For those that are, aren't familiar with Rob Hatcher, what kind of artist are you? Like, what can, what can people expect? 
Um, I'm, I, I would say I'm a soul singer. I sing for my soul. I'm an R&B, you know, a lot of people, I, I got a church background, you know, I, I love God and everything, and I was in the church for years playing. I never had the desire to be a gospel artist. I just love gospel music. So when I did Sunday Best, it was like, hey, it's an avenue for me, able, me to be able to show my love and expression for God on a national TV show. Mm-hmm. But don't get it twisted, you know, he, he did bless me, but I always wanted to do R&B because I don't have a problem with that. Mm-hmm. But, you know, um, they're going to get, I'm just, I just be 100 with people. What you see is what you get. I don't sugarcoat nothing. Frankie is my godmother. Keisha Cole's mom. So you can get an idea of how I act. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie's your godmother? <laughs> yeah, yeah. She put me on to a lot too. So shout out to Frankie. Uh, she put me on to a lot, a lot, a lot of things in this industry. And I am forever grateful for her. I've been rocking with them for years, for over 10 years now. Wow. And, um, you know, it's just been a blessing to be a part of their family. But what you see is what you get. I don't sugarcoat nothing. I am who I am. Sometimes I might switch my style up. If you don't like it, hey, keep moving, you know. <laughs> but it's just me, though. And I think with me being myself for so many years, it's gotten me so far because I've traveled the world twice. Wow. I've seen any and everything anybody could probably ever dream of. I, I live in and out of hotels, traveling with different artists. And, I mean, I just had a really blessed life. So it's like you can I learned through all of that, like, just be yourself and you'll go super far. Mm-hmm. And what kind of information would you give to other up-and-coming artists? Because I know right now you're on the come up, but you've done a lot. You know, a lot of people are familiar with your name, and, and, and you really on, on, are really on your grind. What advice would you give to other up-and-coming artists that are really just starting and, and trying to build their name? With me, I say uh, no is not an option, and don't settle just for anything. A lot of times people will tell you you can't do this or it can't happen, and I'll be like, it can't. And I, in, in college, because I had two degrees, uh, a mm. bachelor's and a master's in communication, and my professor, I'll never forget this, my professor always told me, if you can't get through the front door, don't go through the back door. Build your own door mm-hmm. and walk through it. So as an artist, you have to create avenues in a way in which you can get in and which you can go in and make stuff happen, literally. You just mm-hmm. literally have to go make it happen. When I did the BET um, red carpet, I was, uh, Frankie, Frankie hosted it about two or three years ago. And when I went on there, when I tell you I was networking like crazy, it's like you just you build your way in. You just go and just walk through and just go. Mm-hmm. And, you know, anytime we have, uh, you know, an artist, you know, of your caliber here on the show, we always ask them to sing a little something. You have to sing a little something for us. Oh, okay, God, sing something. <laughs> a, little, a little something. I'll sing what, uh, like right now? Yeah, yeah. No, tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I, I'm like, wait, right now? Uh, okay, so, uh, I, I, okay, I'll do a little something. Okay. This is dedicated to uh, Kempire Radio. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for being my friend. You travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. If you do a party... And invited everyone you knew, you would see the biggest gift would be from me. And the card attached would say, thank you for being my friend. Yes. So thank you, Kimpire <laughs> Radio, for being Rob Hatch's friend and playing me and interviewing me and everything. Because every interview I do, every radio station that I'm going to across this country as I'm promoting this single, I'm beyond grateful because a lot of doors that's opening for me normally don't get open for the um, for the average person. But I do believe because of the soul, the, the seeds that I've sown, God is really just taking and opening doors that's closed and put me in places where normally it wouldn't be possible to do. Even with Wendy Williams, thank you so much, Wendy Williams, if she's listening because she opened up the door for me that's unbelievable. And I just forever, I'll forever be grateful you know most definitely shout out to you rob we're gonna play your your official single it's available now on itunes right yes on itunes and amazon and every digital outlet you could possibly think of most definitely rob hatcher for the very first time here on kempire radio officially family you have to come on back here's his official single oxygen here on tkif kempire radio